the ability to flow confidently on a skateboard is no easy task. Like any other skill, it requires patience and dedication. It's pretty much how I relate to most everything in the world. Tim McAuliffe has been an avid skateboarder since 1985 and says the sport has taught him a lot about life. It teaches you that you can totally not know how to do something and try and try and try and practice and you will be able to do it. He's taught 15 years, the last seven at Pender High where he teaches ninth grade earth and environmental science. Number two, the universe began 13.7 billion years ago. On this day, students are making a scale model of the solar system and learning Earth's relationship to everything else in the universe. I feel like I'm making a difference. Try and help the next generation understand how the world that they live in works. Which McAuliffe says requires knowing how to weigh scientific fact from fiction. In a little bit, these guys are going to be the ones voting on things, and there's like huge issues having to do with science and earth science in particular that they have to make decisions on so we need to make sure that they have a good foundational understanding of stuff so that they're not just like fooled by someone who tells them some made-up story. He occasionally talks about skateboarding to engage students. I definitely try to make it give me some type of street cred, yes, because I'm a quite a nerdy individual so for them to see some side of me that they might think was in some way cool, I really try to go for that, yes. Capitalizing off his coolness factor to connect with teens, says Principal Carolyn Godwin, is one of McAuliffe's many traits. Mr. McAuliffe has actually worked with our Communities and Schools Coordinator in helping students join a skateboard club where they get to participate with an extracurricular activity with the teacher, which also helps build relationships with our students. But what he does outside science class to get to know students on a personal level is just as noteworthy. I often see him having lunch with students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. They do enjoy being around him all the time and, and I think that creates a safe space for students where they feel like they can uh, go and talk to him about anything and not just academics. So what did he think of our visit? It's great. It's amazing. A complete surprise and um, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Tim McAuliffe, our Teacher of the Week, reminding students that academic success, like skateboarding, requires lots of patience and dedication. Third graders in Madeira Billingsley's class at Mary C. Williams Elementary School are learning about poems. How many topics did you hear? On the day of our visit, New Hanover County Elementary students had been back in class for full-time in-person learning for a few weeks. I am so, so thankful that everybody is back. The Teacher of the Week nomination we received says Billingsley goes above and beyond and always puts her students first. So before their spring break, we surprised her. Thank you for what you do every day in the classroom to make these kids have a great experience, whether it's remote learning or in person. Can we give her a round of applause? A graduate of Arizona State University, Billingsley is a veteran teacher with 15 years experience. She spent most of her career here at Mary C. Williams. Anybody have prior knowledge of a haiku? Finger on your nose. Teaching during a pandemic, she says, has been quite a challenge. We had to learn all new online, what it meant to be an online teacher, what it meant to have students on Zooms instead of right in front of us. Despite lots of changes, Billingsley says one thing hasn't changed. My whole reason is the children. My purpose in life and in my purpose being at this job is that these students are who I am here for. I am here for them and them alone. They're just my world. When I step into that classroom, we are a family and we are our own little unit that work together. And it just seems to be such a special time for all of us. In addition to teaching, she has two younger children at home. Billingsley says her faith helps her keep everything in balance. I'm firmly grounded in my belief in Jesus Christ. I can't go a day without just waking up and thanking him for this day that I've been given to go to these children and then move from there. So when I walk into Miss Billingsley's classroom, there is a genuine sense of love of learning. Miss Billingsley is a lifelong learner. She genuinely loves to learn new things. I'm so proud that Miss Billingsley was recognized. She's a phenomenal teacher and I'm so lucky to get to work with her each and every day. As the school year winds down, Billingsley hopes her students remember one thing. I love them. I love them. Maybe not a parent love or maybe not a grandparent love, but I love them in a special way. 
Madeira Billingsley, our Teacher of the Week, an educator whose passion for teaching is a gift these students will benefit from years from now.